For us, it's very important that we demystify the process behind design. I think there's too many designers who present and only show finished work. And then I think it's very hard to connect to that because it's like, well, that's really cool, but how do I do something like that? Or, or what are the tools that I can think about to make something like that myself? If we had to explain to our mothers how we did this, how would we explain it to them? And we hope that by demystifying the behind the scenes of design, we take it down to the level where everybody feels like, oh, you know what, that's actually something I could do. Or that's not as hard as I thought it would be. Or maybe it is really hard, but there are ways that you can achieve it. So for us, it's really, really important to make sure that we don't talk at this level, but we really try to explain how ghetto some of our productions are or how hard it was and how we overcame it. So that when people do their own projects, maybe they might apply the same mindset because they will have their own techniques, their own ways of working, but maybe just by feeling like it's not such a big deal or something they can do, we inspire other people to make work themselves. For me specifically, it's gonna be almost like a continuation of my course that I had in February. And in February I was teaching uh, designing interactive layouts. So basically with students we went through how to organize content visually and how to make it interesting and engaging and easy to understand and etc. So the summer course, the one I'm going to be teaching is going to call Applying Interactivity. So now I'm going to be looking and giving more focus on making things interactive. Even from our talk today, you could see that when we did One Shared House, for us, one of the main goals was also not to make a lean back experience that you could just put it on YouTube, right? So if you're doing an interactive documentary to the point that you can just play it on YouTube, then why actually building a website and make it all this ecosystem around it? So uh, there was a lot of applied interactivity to this project. So. Now, since uh, we went through that exercise with students of building layouts, we're going to be spending more time on understanding and looking for ways of making things interactive when it's needed to be interactive and kind of keeping it static where it needs to be static. Uh, and for me in particular, I'm going to be focusing the class on presenting and selling design. It's extremely important that you can verbalize your thoughts and uh, present in a way that people want to listen to you. That hopefully the students will have the tools they need in order to uh, present well, or better at least, so that when it comes time for them to be in the real world, they'll be able to present as comfortably as Anton and I present now.